Hello everyone, this is Srimundi and coming on from, from 3 Electrical. We are making practical video for machine 2 on parallel operation of 3 phase alternator with load sharing. The aim of this practical is to study the parallel operation of the 3 phase alternator with load sharing by changing the acceleration of the incoming alternator at constant load. To share the brief theory about our practical, the parallel operation of an alternator is very important because in most power stations, the number of working alternators at any time can be varied according to the magnitude of the load on the station. This keeps the machine loaded up to their rated capacity and therefore results in an increase in efficiency of operation since electrical machines operate most efficiently when operated on full load or near full load. For successful parallel operation, we have to fulfill three conditions and they are The terminal voltage of the incoming machine must be equal to that of bus bar voltage The frequency of the incoming machine must be equal to that of bus bar The phase sequence of the incoming machine should be same as that of the bus bar voltage Some of the advantages of parallel operation of an alternator are To supply sufficient power from one place to another it improves the reliability of the supply system, repair and maintenance are comfortable and economic, and further expansion is easy and can be done when required. We have to own MCCB and RCCB. At motor side, we have to connect voltmeter across supply terminals, and this supply terminal is connected to the terminals of the motor positive terminals to A2 and negative terminals to A1 and A1 and E1 is shorted and this A2 terminals is connected to emitter Emitter is connected to the rusted and other terminals of the rusted is connected back to E2. Now from generator side we have done star connection rated 400 volts 0.66 ampere and 1500 rpm then from generator it goes to the 3 pole switch rated 500 volt and 16 ampere from 3 full switch we have connected it to the synchronous lamp then from synchronous lamp we have connected it to another 3 pole switch and then to the bus bar of a 3 phase that is RYB from the first 3 pole switch we have connected it to the frequency measuring meter and the output is connected back to the another switch from synchronization lamp we have connected to the 3 emitter in series and then to the load and other terminal of loads are shorted. One voltmeter of a 500 volt is connected to the generator for the measurement of the terminal voltage. From the field F2 is connected to the emitter for the measurement of the field current and from emitter it is connected to the DC source and then from the negative side of the DC source we have connected it to the real state which is kept at the maximum position and from the real state we have connected it back to the field that is F1 in order to measure the DC voltage we have connected DC voltmeter now coming to the operation we have to give supply from the generator side and supply should be given give to its rated supply till we get the speed of the generator to 2000 now speed is increasing corresponding to the increasing supply supply voltage We get rated speed. Now we have to give supply from field 
excitation after it's rated voltage supply of around 150 volt. Now we are getting 150 volt. Now we have to give supply from the bus bar and to maintain the bus bar voltage to its rated voltage of 400 volt. Now we are getting it to around 400 volt. Now, in order to sequence the phase sequence meter, we have to maintain the terminal voltage equal to the password voltage by increasing the real state. Yeah. Now, we get around 400 voltage of terminal voltage which is equal to the Pass a voltage of 400 voltage, then the frequency of phase sequence meter will be. Next step is to check the phase sequence using phase sequence meter indicator. We have connected it to the bus bar side and by switching on it runs in the anti clockwise direction. Now we are connecting it to the incoming side that is generator side. And on the switch, check the direction of the face so it is also in the anti-clockwise direction in both case it runs in anti-clockwise direction therefore the lamps are rotating so our third condition is fulfilled next step is for two bright and one dark lamp method for that we are varying the resistance to decrease the speed of the rotating lamp we are decreasing the value of the resistance to zero but the speed remains same so to decrease the speed, we are going to vary the supply. Now, by varying the supply, lamps are rotating slowly. After that, we are switching on the synchronization lamp switch when the one lamp is completely dark. And that's for two bright and one dark lamp method. By giving some load, current reading is same for all the 3A meter, that is 0.5 ampere. To supply big load parallel operation of the alternator is essential which cannot be fulfilled by a single phase alternators. Now if we put off the pass for supply, the still supply will be there from the generator. Now if we put off the supply from the generator, pass for will still supply. This is indicated by the current lamp. Now, if we put off the <coughs> supply from the generator side by putting off the switch, still the bus bar will supply. Now, if we put off the supply from the bus bar side by putting off the bus bar switch, the supply will be here from the generator side which is indicated by the current lamp. The application of synchronizing alternators is that when one alternator fails to supply, the other one will still supply. Now we are done with our experiment and for precaution first we have to turn off the synchronization lamp switch. Then both the triple switch should be turned off. Next, we have to switch off the bus bar. Then the DC source. And the DC supply of the motor. Then 
our main supply that is RCCB and MCB. In doing this practical, we have to consider a few precautions. Number one, incoming voltage should be slightly higher than fast voltage. Number two, while varying the excitation, do not vary with sudden large acceleration. Number three, maintain constant speed, same phase sequence, same terminal voltage, and same frequency of the alternator. Now coming to the conclusion, in parallel operation, it is arranged in a systematic way that any changes in excitation system builds within itself without causing any dissipation of energy, output efficiency, and output power. With the performance of this practical, we learned that there are various advantages for operating two or more alternators in parallel. By operating alternators in parallel, it would be economic, patients will be able to operate at full lot, maintenance and repair will be possible. The reliability of the system will also be improved, hence we conclude that it would be better to run two or more alternators of a smaller rating to meet the load than to run one alternator of larger rating.